Daddy? How'd you get in? It's fucking dark in here. I am moving here. I've been looking at a couple places down the street, so I figured I'd come see my brother. But what are you doing here, really? That's it. I just told you. All right, it's not that easy, but I can get it this time. Just watch. Oh, shut up. Just, just peek, just pick them out. Just pick the pieces of hair out. Gotti, it's way in there. <laughs> His name was Carl St. Cyr. He's a grandson of Mauricio St. Cyr, the guy that Obi's dad used to work for. He lived in the 1920s, was an ex-con, fraud, thief, you name it. Look like you. Now he was stripped of his money when he was busted, but he was able to keep his prized possession that he stole from the Leon Milon family. A pink diamond. <laughs> Wait, first off, I know this girl did not just say no damn pink diamond. And what the fuck is your source? Through my ma. I don't know, I don't see her. I don't talk to her. I mean, for them. Why are you here anyway? Isn't it obvious? Is this what you wanted to see? I've been having these really bad dreams of fucked up shit. I'm anxious constantly. My back is always achy and sore. I can't sleep. Full name, sweetie. Ashley Marie Gomez. It's a beautiful name. You have a lot of strong women in your family, huh? I remember once when my mom and I were cleaning Mandy's house, I opened the wooden shutters and gently dusted through them with the Swiffer. As I moved my arm back and forth, back and forth between each blind, I pushed a candle off a stand. But she's always had this incredible strength and willpower to continue working because in the end she needs the money. We need the money. Sometimes you just have to suck it up. 